Have you ever tried developing games with non-linear storylines? Branching dialogues like in RPG games, where choices have real consequences. If so, you know how quickly a project can spiral out of control, and how difficult it becomes to track all player decisions. Sure, there are tools that help with this, but some of them are text-based and don't let you visualize dialogue branches properly. Others are expensive or have a steep learning curve. For the past two years, I've been developing my own tool for creating non-linear narratives, Storyflow Editor. And very soon, on November 6th, 2025, it will be available for purchase on Steam. With it, you'll be able to easily create non-linear stories and dialogues without any programming skills, while conveniently tracking all your narrative branches. Storyflow Editor uses a visual programming system, very similar to Blueprints in Unreal Engine. So if you've already worked with that engine, getting started will be straightforward. And if you haven't, there's comprehensive documentation available. Plus, I'll be posting tutorials on this channel to help you get up to speed quickly. Stories created in Storyflow Editor can be exported and used in other game engines. Currently, you can export as an HTML file that runs on any device with a modern browser, or as JSON for integration with other programs and engines. In the near future, I'll be developing official plugins for Unreal Engine, Unity, and Godot to make the integration process seamless. But let's go back in time and I'll tell you a bit about the history of how this program came to be. March 2024. At that time, I already had four years of experience with Unreal Engine and was learning web technologies. JavaScript, React, Node.js. I wanted to learn through an interesting personal project. I discovered an open source library called ReactFlow, designed for creating node-based editors. I immediately got excited about recreating Unreal Engine's Blueprints visual programming system using web technologies. From the beginning, I wanted to build a real product that would be useful to people. The first version worked directly in the browser using the Next.js framework. However, I realized that this approach would require storing all user data on my server, adding costs for database maintenance and backend infrastructure. So I decided to take a different approach, the one that game engines use. Instead of working inside a browser with cloud servers, I built a desktop application that uses the user's local file system for project storage. This has several advantages. Users completely own their project data stored locally, not on third-party servers. Performance is better since there's no server dependency or latency. And Storyflow Editor works even offline. I created a new branch and rewrote part of the program, replacing Next.js with Electron, a popular framework for creating desktop applications. It's used by programs like Discord, Notion, Obsidian, and many others. Next, I focused on creating a file manager for asset management. It works very much like the file explorer in Windows. You can create folders and files with supported extensions, rename and move them around. At the same time, I added the ability to split scripts and store their parts in different files. This allows users to structure their projects more conveniently. After some time, I had a working visual programming prototype, but I still didn't have a clear vision of what exactly I wanted to build, specifically how this system would actually be used. At one point, I considered developing my own game engine in JavaScript, but quickly abandoned that idea as it would massively increase the project's scope. That's when I decided to focus on story management tools. It's genuinely useful, integrates with existing game engines, and is a promising niche. The main goal and vision finally crystallized. At this stage of development, my task was to create a foundation for future functionality. For example, I added the ability to import images into projects, then open and use them inside dialogues. This same system will easily extend to audio files and other formats. I'm also integrating AI technologies directly into the editor allowing users to generate images, text, and voiceovers without switching windows. I have early work on this that I'm not ready to show yet. Long term, I want to enable users to extend the editor through custom plugins, 
so I'm designing systems with that flexibility in mind from the start. I've invested heavily in the user interface. While initially inspired by Unreal Engine, it's evolved into its own unique identity. You probably can't imagine how much time UI UX actually takes. Sometimes I'd spend an entire day just tweaking things to get the feel right. Now let's jump to the present. All core functionality of Storyflow Editor is stable and production ready. Detailed documentation will be available soon, along with video tutorials on this channel. After launch, I'll focus on creating plugins to streamline game engine integration. On storyfloweditor.com, you can check out the development roadmap, which includes game engine integration, AI technologies, character creation system, audio support, and more. Very soon, Storyflow Editor will be available for purchase on Steam for 20 US dollars. As major updates are released and new functionality is added, the price will increase. So the best deal is to grab it at launch. This will be great support for me, and you'll get a working tool ready for production use. I guarantee ongoing support and hands-on help with integration. Most indie developers just want to make games. But competition grows every year. Steam releases multiply, and statistics show most games don't break even. I'm taking a different approach. I'm building an entire ecosystem of game dev products, with Storyflow Editor as the first. Eventually, I'll use these tools to create my own games. Tools and games will cross-promote each other. On this YouTube channel and Discord server, I'm building a community of game developers. Expect Storyflow tutorials, devlogs, and game dev content. Subscribe and join the Discord as well. You can also support me on Patreon for benefits like early access to new versions, voting on features, and premium support. And don't forget to wishlist Storyflow Editor on Steam. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.